Hey guys, Strike here, welcome back to Kingdoms of Amala Re-Reckoning. Now, in the last one, all I remember, because it was a couple of fucking days ago now, is I went through some caverns and found literally nothing. Now, I've taken a look at the log, and the quest we have highlighted is going to visit the fucking Red Dead Edward, or whatever the fuck his name is. All I remember is it's so unbelievably stupid, and that sounds like a completely terrible idea. For one, he's all the way up here, far away from anything else I've ever needed to fucking do. And two, I'm still really early on in the game. I've done like three main missions total, and we've already explored all this much, but I think he's going to absolutely break me. If he's powerful enough to be the leader of the most terrifying bandit faction we've come across so far, I mean, that right at the start of the game, I'm sure there's gonna be 40,000 way, 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 way tougher than they are. But, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what to expect from these assholes. And I definitely don't feel comfortable delving into Mother Nature's asshole like this. Especially when they've already filled it out very, very nicely. Packed it to the brim. Where am I? I am in the wrong map. So, I believe I've been to Bloodstone Keep or Bloodstone Deep, whatever the fuck this is called. I believe I've been here before. Potentially more than once. What the fuck are you doing over here? Oh, okay, I killed endless dudes here, which is why there's shit over here. An elm scepter. I mean, I've got space. It's probably dog shit, but I can take quite a bit of dog shit, at least for a while. Have I opened up this chest? Because whether or not this chest is open is going to tell me about whether or not I've even been here. I absolutely have. I wish the fucking lids of chests would spawn. It's the most annoying fucking thing in the world. Um, because it, I, I don't know if they're just scenery or if it's actually shit I'm supposed to be able to mess with. For the most part, I think if there's a chest here, it's something I'm supposed to be able to mess with. And the game's just confused. Let's just hope I don't always need to delve back into places like this. Because if I need to do this, I'm like, quite a bit, then my brain will never recover. Get the fuck out of here. Please, thank you. And I love these things so much. Now... If you watched the end of last episode, I basically explained why I was going to be gone for a couple of days. And holy shit, have I missed this combat system. It is absolutely awesome. I don't know why I love it so much. It's not exactly like it isn't a bit gen generic hack and slash RPG kind of combat. Because it is. That is exactly what it is. But it just feels so unique. I think it's those flashy animations. Everything about it feels so good. Oh, you're coming directly to me in the least intimidating way possible? I could just leave. Your entire fucking army has basically been shattered. I could just walk out and you'd just forever be trapped in this uh, painful, painful, slow-ass loop as you chase me across the world at a whole half a mile per hour. I knew neither. Fine, fine. I guess we'll have some words. Who sent you? Was it Delf? Agna? I mean... I did just murder two of your most trusted fucking people right before your eyes. And that's just fine. Technically, that isn't it what you you sacrifice the blood of two to save one. I, I just sacrificed the blood of two. They may not have been guilty of absolutely ever anything, but I didn't read the fucking fine print. I imagine this man can't even fucking read, let alone write up some fucking fine print. So, we all good? And plus, like, why are you just allowing this? Is this just the general p procedure? If anyone wants to talk to you, they have to cleave the way through your entire fucking army first. Because I think maybe just get a receptionist. That that would probably help quite a bit more and save you a lot of death. But whatever. Tell me about the Red Legion. They are my sons and brothers. A vast family with one goal in this short life. Pretty sure the ones I rescued are younger than you. I mean, older than you. Soon, all of Amalur will see red. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy, because I'm probably about to end you. Tell me about Etron. Dangerous, yes, but narrow as a blade. That one couldn't see beyond the realm of his precious Enidon. He wasn't he very dangerous. It. And what about Ugna? I'm surprised I can't ask about the other the one. I forget coldest. his name, but still. I dragged that boy from the depths of a Mergen nest. And then raised him as my own. It's a shame his spine leaked out of him. Oh, I forgot about the fucking horrible fucky eyelashes. That's really, really gross. 
and I hate the way you are st st staring right through my fucking soul into my soul's soul's fucking soul. That's uh, that's not appreciated, dude. Please, please stop. Your eyes are so sunken, dude. You look like a corpse. I hate it. A very fashionable corpse with the most beautiful beard I've ever seen, but still a corpse. So you're here on behalf of Delph, that traitorous sow. I gather you're here to send a message as well. Let me guess. Blood has been paid for his crimes. I mean, I have but a couple of daggers. Does that count? That the blood right is a privilege of the Red Legion. And he lost that privilege when he betrayed us. The choice is yours, stranger. Throw your lot in with a monk and his coward god, or work for me. At least I will pay you for your trouble. Yeah, but you're also an asshole scummy bandit, so I'm probably just gonna burn off your face? What are you asking me to Don't do? Tell me you're as thick as your friend Delph. I require his death. Oh, Either he is a pretty thick boy now, it. isn't he? It's your thick job. with like four C's. And that's impressive. No, fuck you, you're a bandit. Unwise. Some of us are richer than kings. If Some of us, us, yes, not you. Us. The Red Legion drinks the blood of its enemies. <laughs> is that so, my friend? Because I think I just absolutely removed all of your friend's blood on the entire journey through here, and you know, throughout the entire game so far as well. Also, combat in this game is so hilariously easy. Everything I ever do is a stun lock. <laughs> You're so screwed. Never take me on one on one. And everyone hailed you as being so damn scary. Okay, he's got friends, got friends, got friends. Didn't really expect this. This is a bit terrifying. Please get out of here in one. Well, that's not in one, but I absolutely love, like, even the, no, uh, even the first lightning spell that isn't called chain lightning kind of has a little bit of a chaining effect. And that is the coolest thing I think I've ever done. Please die instantly. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that was butchery. As much as a complete fucking scumbag as this dude clearly is, I feel a little bit bad that you at least didn't even stand a chance. Ooh, some of us are richer than Kit. You've got 500 gold. 500. And that that's everything. What, what, why even try, dude? Why not just run as soon as you see me? You could have jumped off here. I mean, you absolutely would have broken every single bone your legs have ever owned, but... I mean, you've got more of a chance of surviving everything about you melting. Oh, I love my stuff so much. All right. Can I fast travel while I'm inside of places like this? I don't know. So let's go to Gorehart. It's been a while, actually, since we've been to the very, very, very first settlement we've ever been to. I like Gorehart. It's pretty. Pretty. It's a very, very cool first town. Hmm. Stay indoors after Sandal. I don't think I'm gonna do that, lady. Now, how the fuck do I get to you? Oh, yeah! It's the original mission or whatever the fuck. I mean, I don't think you actually live in the chapel or anything, but... It, okay, you're having a nice little sleep. What the fuck is this? What a weird layout of an area. Is this supposed to be the dorms? Because there's two beds, and it's right next to where everyone eats. Does this not feel strange to anyone else? Like, there's no doors or anything. I guess priests aren't allowed privacy in the fucking slightest. I mean, to be fair, priests probably should be under watch 24 fucking 7, considering what they get up to, but still. It's done? I don't know how much. gave me even more money than the bandit. Like, like the end of a long nightmare. How can I ever thank you? I took up a collection around the mission. I lied and said it was for oh charity, my but God. you understand. The others can never know. Thank you. Well, we've doomed like a hundred starving orphans for this, but it's See absolutely worth it, so goodbye, Delph. He does kind of seem to be a complete asshole. Maybe, uh, maybe Dirty Bandit Man was a bit in the right for at least being like, oh, no, that guy's a cunt. But, um... I don't know. I need money too, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm way more important than all those orphans. Let's go ahead and grab that last persuasion skill that we can get right now, and I would love me some- Oh, it's in might. Never mind. Not causing any earthquakes today. Uh, we're now level 6 with you, so we don't need to do that again. I don't know, I just really like my summon. He doesn't do any damage, I'm, I'm fully aware of that. Oh, we lost 120 seconds. Okay, so we now got a definitive duration. Um, he doesn't do any damage, I know. But he's just nice to have as... That, the enemies seem to wail on him. 
way more than they wail on me. And I think right now that's 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 a pretty big victory. Ice barrage. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess chain. Oh wait, increases storm bolt damage. Oh, okay. So it's not its very 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 own um attack in itself. It just buffs that, and that's why it was already doing chain lightning because it sort of can. 10% chance of shocking damage to propagate between enemies increase storm bolt damage by 10%. Man, I can make this thing as powerful as my explosions if I want then, huh? Nice, nice, nice! Okay, well, I'm gonna get one of you, and then one of you. I really don't know where I want my points to go, as you can probably tell. But at the very least, I can now be a seer, which gives me blink, short-range teleport, which replaces dodge! I like. I like everything about that. Thank you, game. I'm horny. Uh, finesse and sorcery. Do you get something similar? Oh, you get both. Okay, I, I love that you get both. I am very, very into that. Uh, no. No, no, no. Confirm, confirm, confirm. I'm a god. Inventory. What, what new have we got? That didn't make any sense. What have we got that's new? There we go. That's English, probably. Uh, we have quite a lot, which means I probably need to sell some things. Also, I have a lot of stolen stuff, which means I probably need to sell some things. Uh, I'm already wearing those. Shoes of the Deluge. So I'm just uh, sort of getting reacquainted with the game. Because I did have to take two days off because gross family. Blech. Real life shit. It's very, very, very horrible. Hank. I just want to live in the world of Abela forever. I really, really enjoy this um, this setting though. I know I keep saying it, but it, it just becomes more and more true with everything that happens. I don't even know why, because you could argue that that culmination of the dagger quest and the bandit thing and like ah oh, everyone is so terrified of the red legion only for them to turn out to be led by that idiot that completely completely used i'm on hard difficulty which was the hardest the original game had to offer i know the re-reckoning edition adds in this uh, god tier dark souls style difficulty it's probably nowhere near that hard if this game if uh, the actual hard difficulty is anything to go by but fuck me man at least make him intense, at least make him sound big, or have defenses, or anything, or like several stages, but no, but no, he's just a guy, he's just a guy who's worse than some of the other guys we've faced, potentially even in that quest. What's this again? Oh yeah, okay, that's just the, that's just the never-ending potion quest. Find remains, no, that sounds horrible ungentle bit overgrown thicket. I've wanted to go there for a while, I don't know why. It's because it's a place that I've seen on the map forever that I keep just not getting a chance to go to. I mean, I've had every chance in the fucking world to do it, but I always get distracted by a side quest or something else just showing up out of fucking nowhere. So I think now is probably the time to clear that shit out. Oh my god. Oh my- look at this antelope boy just staring down the wolves and winning. They walked right- this is not the fucking food chain. I don't understand how this is happening, but apparently antelopes became the gods of the fucking wild. Uh, except me. Except because they fucking are terrified of me for some reason. Oh, for, do I really have to kill these wolves every time I walk past them? Go away! I said go away! They, uh, I don't think they're gonna go away. I think they're very, very invested in this fight. Get the fuck out of here, thank you. Huh. You have way more health than I expected. I thought I was going to take you down in one. There you go. Just need to pull off that patented double jihad. And everything is fine. All right. There we go. Now, as you can probably tell, my, vo uh, um, my voice is a little bit restricted today. I'm a little bit sick. I don't think it's allergies anymore. I think allergies are finally going away because my head feels quite a bit clearer than normal. Um, but I am a little bit sick, which means my tongue is all a little bit fucky and doesn't know where to be. It is untamed once more, and that must be fixed eventually. Um, but yeah, I think my brain is finally intact. Well, not entirely, obviously, because I will always be a complete moron. But I think as the summer is finally going away, my brain is slowly returning. If we were on, like, maybe 15% capacity last time, we're probably on about 20 now. I'm, I, and it just becomes more and more every time, and I'm very, very happy about that. I don't know what you are, but you're immediately going to explode. I'm- I'm not used to this dodge at all, or this blink at all. I think it actually makes us safer in the long run. Why the hell did you- Oh, none of you died! That <laughs> guy didn't even get a chance to get up before he got nuked again, though. Oh, this poor sweet boy! 
That man is just constantly slapping himself. Dude, I have punished you enough. You don't need to administer this yourself. There we go. What the fuck was I talking about? Okay, yeah, clearly brain is not intact quite yet. Because brain be stupid. Oh, first try. Hell yeah, I forgot just how incredible I am about at all of this. And if you're giving me more lockpicks, then I am a very, very, very happy man. There we go. What do we got in here? Oh, man, what was I talking about? I think it was meant to be It was meant to be important. I was explaining something. Ah, whatever. Ah, so. Oh, my God, what are you? Oh, yeah, you're the bar guest things that aren't bar guests at all. You're sort of just dogs that stand on two legs for no reason. I'm still absolutely terrified by you, but you are definitely not bar guests. No, 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 no! Is it me or was the dodge better? It might be just because I'm not used to it yet, but it definitely feels like the dodge would cover more ground and arguably just keep us safer throughout. I guess there's more invisibility frames here because you just sort of appear. But with the dodge, it, it, it just feels so much faster. I, you probably didn't cover any more ground. But it just looked like it because it looked a bit more visceral. I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this blink just yet, but I mean, I've had it for two seconds. I should probably give it a chance. Basic restoring rivets and a load of other useless bullshit. Nice. At least it's useless bullshit that will definitely sell for more than like a fiver. But it's still kind of useless bullshit. What do we got down here? I imagine this is just supposed to be the thicket. I don't remember why we got a mission for this. Was it just like generic war sworn shite? I think so. Oh god, they can throw bombs now. I really like the kobolds. I like that they're sort of kind of a little bit smart. Not civilized any kind of way. I mean, look at these dudes, but at least they have like uh, enough intelligence to wear a little loincloth around, well, not their loins, their mouths. I guess they also do have loincloths. Oh, aren't you looking pretty? So very fashionable. And it's defending my poor, sweet, innocent eyes from lizard penis. And I could not be more uh, thankful for that. Thank you, game. And we have 11 lockpicks. Let's not fuck this up. That's going to get fucked up. That's absolutely already fucked up. And second try? Second fucking try. There we go. Azerite greatsword and a load of useless bullshit. Nice. I mean, the greatsword is also useless bullshit, but at least I could, I guess, sell it. There we go. Tons of potions here. I wish we had a pouch that would just put all potions in it. Because I, I kind of don't need the vast majority of potions I carry around. But I, my instinct in an RPG is like, oh, fuck yeah, potions. I'll use that eventually, even though I absolutely never will. Also, this was an easy lock that just shattered that quickly. I'm so mad about that. Just open and leave me alone forever. Thank you. Kelleran's messenger. And it's replaced all those lockpicks I just left. And some lovely weed for some reason. I don't know why cannabis is straight up in this game, but let's not question it. The Book of Genital Beasts. Behold the genital beasts of field, hill and wood. Unlike we who wear unnatural garments and betake such oddities as war and deceit, these noble beings are at one with all around them, mostly their genitals. They do not question hate. Or fear. Okay. So what? You, you just wanted me to clear out this entire cave? You wanted me to purge all these genital beasts? So you could read about the genital beasts who are like, Oh, so much more noble than humans and mortals and whatever the fuck. Oh, they're so pretty and they must be preserved. And just so you can remember that they need to be preserved, you're going to kill them all. Uh, okay. Sure. Good for you. Idiot. Let's go ahead and turn this in. I should probably, like, finish off a lot more Warsworn contracts before I do that. But I don't know where they are. I don't remember what the Warsworn contracts are at this point. So, it wouldn't be a bad thing to go hang out with these boys. In chance are it's just gonna be like, a, oh, you completed a thing from the board, aren't you? A, 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 a nice, a, a nice lad. I don't know, because we've never done it before. It would be nice if every single quest could have, like, its own little bit of dialogue. But since it does just come from a contract board, I'm kind of really doubting it. Hello? Where are you at? Oh, I thought I was turning it back into the board for a second. I was so disappointed. Yeah, I know. I did a thing. Pledge shield. Uh, okay. Work hard as a hireling. Prove yourself able, and you'll make pledge shield sure enough. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I just did. Oh do. yes, from overgrown thick. Oh, he does it? talk about it. Awesome. Normally, that sort of thing is beneath even contract work. But Wait, that days, place's name is actually coins, just called Overgrown Thicket. Enough, we put it on the board. It's not just a place that happens to be an overgrown thicket. That's actually its name. On with you. I, I hate everything about that. You're not giving that place much chance, are you? For fuck's sake. Oh my god. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's take a look at the log and let's see what's around us. Probably absolutely fucking nothing because I have cleared this place time and time and time and time and time and time again. That's where Agarth lives. So he wants me to go to Et Etenmere. That's also got the Ballad's or Oratory there, and I think that might be where the king's hanging out. But I could also be unbelievably wrong about that. Uh, I need to steal some shit. Okay, St. Edric's Remain? That sounds like such a horrible idea. There is an entire religion based around that dude. And I'm just gonna steal his lovely little bones. I, I don't think this is a good idea at all. How do I do this? It's a Dyden Hill Inn. No, it's not. It's in the Almain Mission. What the fuck is going on? Uh, or I could kill Bloody Bones? King Wenson, Halam the... Wait, Bloody Bones from there? It feels like two seconds ago this was being told to us, and it must have been like, what, three sessions ago? Which is like five days now or something? I, I don't believe you. A rallying cry. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you were a, um... I thought you were a war sword quest. Are you lying to me? I, I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. But I guess... I'm not finding books. I guess I should go do some main quest. Because right now I'm going all the way over here and it seems like I'm, I'm going way beyond where I should be. Because Etzenmir is on the left, whereas everything that keeps getting harder is on the fucking right. So I think I've been thoroughly stupid by, by going that way first. Plus, we've got the entirety of the webwood hanging out over here. And that is a very, 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 very sexy prospect to me. So, maybe I should check on that guy's corpse once more and see if that lady is still hanging out.